Number one is there's a theory and practice gap when it comes to computer science, okay? Like back then I was learning data structures, I was learning C++ programming, how to build websites, all that stuff. And it was cool after a while, but then like I already had the practical experience because I went in high school, I learned computer science. So because I learned all that stuff, it was easier for me to transition into finding a job relatively quickly. And I was working as a web designer, then a web developer while going to school and thinking that I was going to get more knowledge out of that. I really didn't get that much knowledge at all. Half the stuff that I learned in, in college, I don't even remember. So it was kind of like a waste of time. The, I think the best thing out of it was that I met new people. I started networking with a lot of people and there were people that um, were in computer science that found great jobs and they were doing well so I could rely on my network to find a job at that time. But it just accumulated a lot of debt, a lot of debt. So, you know, you have to think about it. You're spending a lot of money that you, you don't have using financial aid options and you're trying to get practical experience but you're not really getting that because everything is within a textbook and you have to on your own do the work and some of these problems that are in those textbooks doesn't relate to real world problems that are happening today so there's a huge gap in between what is practical versus what is all bs so that's something that i noticed quick i learned more on the job than i did in school and I'm just trying to save you some bread. So if you don't feel like going to school for all that stuff and you just want to learn on your own through a boot camp or on YouTube through a course that you could pay for that's that doesn't hurt your pockets, go for that.